Hello everyone, this is Dan Sparse, and welcome back to Monster Loves You. Uh, we just got out of Monsterlinghood? Is that what it was called? And we're now going to be an analog monster, so let's go ahead and click the button. Boom. Alright. Who's this guy? Cleverness, Frosty, Cleverness, Ossity. Drop that beat like Rop Wheat Creep. Huh. Alrighty, eight days left. Bravery, Cleverness, Honesty, Kindness. Anything else to click? Not really. Alrighty, so let's enter the big bad world. Adventure in town. I guess adventuring in town is all we can do, right? Choose your adventure. Ah, uh, let's do the cloud one. Elder Marinus leads you, Blistry, and Virok into the forest. She points to a stand of purple berry bushes and says, Eat your fill, little ones. Um, ask her what this is about. Marinus smiles down at you. I noticed the berries were ripe, that's all. What are you afraid of? That will make your tummy hurt? Uh, oh, of course not. Elder Marinus leads you, Blistry, and Victor into the forest. She points, oh yeah, eat your fill. Eat only some of the berries. You exercise restraint, consuming berries until you're full and no more. Elmer says, it's alright, you can eat more if you want. Uh, what's she up to? Hold back. Varrock gorges himself on berries, eating and eating until his skinny little body is plump and quivering, but Shreya stopped eating just like you. What happens next? Marinus rolls Virok back into town, where the young monster squeezes until all his slime is oozed out. The slime is purple and delicious. Is Virok okay? He's unconscious, but he seems to be no worse for the wear. What happens to the berry slime juice? Elder Hamrack makes pancakes for everyone in the sticky purple stuff to make a delicious syrup. Okay. Gross. That was very. That was very gross. Um, gotta do the face, the little curious face. Mupsy Moral slithers up to you and says, I wonder if you could confirm a rumor for me. Uh, Mupsy Morsel? Moral? Mushroom? Who? Mupsy Moral is an elder monster who's been around for a long time. She brings the Omen Harbinger, a short newspaper from monsters. Uh, you'll have nothing to do with Mupsy. You say no thanks and walk away. Behind you, Mupsy mutters, very interesting. What are you trying to hide? Uh, let's do the mosquito. After the rain, the last puddles linger. Looking into one, you see hundreds of tiny wriggling bugs. Eat the little bugs. Splash in the puddle. Look at the little bugs. Splash in the puddle. You leap and spin and dance and hop and swirl and stomp, stumble and splash. The puddle is scattered in all directions. The bugs are dead, but who cares? They're just bugs after all. Uh, let's do the fried chicken. You sniff the air. Sniff, sniff. Could that be frosting? Blotz greets you with Nash Ganache with fluffy pink cake. Nash Ganache says, Blotz says he stole this from a human child. How do you three share it? What's frosting? What's frosting? Huh. Oh, that's actually like an actual recipe for frosting. Neat. Uh, first one, the thunder wins. It's a human's cake. Think about it. You know, like humans would. Um, it's a human's cake. Think about it. Humans do a lot of things. Sometimes they talk all day, and sometimes they draw circles and cut them up with chalk. So odd, those humans. Debate it with big words. You don't like humans. Figure this out using geometry. While you scratch out different percentages using dirt and stick, Nash, Ganesh, and Blotz eat the cake, leaving you with nothing. At least you learned a little about math. <laughs> uh, let's do the angry face. Outside your house, Nash Ganash charges from a nearby bush and sends you tumbling. Challenge! She screams at the top of her voice. It's on. Uh, leap at her and crush her. Splat. Flattened under your bottom. Nash Ganash admits defeat. She was always weak to attacks from above. Uh, let's do the cloud. Suddenly, a stinging rain pours down. Everyone scatters and gets undercover. Even Blistry and Smark. How bad is the weather? It's just rain, water falling from the clouds. It does hurt a little. Stings you know. Ow, ow, like a hundred needles on your hide. Hmm. Yeah, no, it's fine. Okay. 
Sometimes really hard rain like this has been known to get stuck under monster skin like little splinters and then you can hurt for days. Uh, run under the cover. While the rain pours down, you cuddle with blistery and smart under the bleachers. Play a game. You take turns opening your mouth to the falling rain, trying to suck up all the drops. Unfortunately, you choke and spit a mouthful of water at Smark. Do it again. Blistery spits water on you. Smark splashes a puddle at both of you, and you all spend your, the rest of your storm making your own fun in the pooling water. All right. Uh, let's do this one. It's such a nice day today. Perfect weather to wander outside of town. Though you're not really supposed to leave Omen until you're older. Walk the forest path near Omen. Just take a nap in the sun right here in Portland Square. Walk the forest paths. What glorious weather. The sun is shining. The birds are singing. Squirrels are squirreling things away in their squirrel homes. Keep walking. Why not? You really don't see why young monsters aren't supposed to stay in town. What's going to hurt you out here? A squirrel, a tree. Keep walking. Uh, hey, what was that? You think you hear a bear? Or is it a human? Oh, it was just a twig snapping. Everything's fine. That could be trouble. Turn around and go home. It's just a twig. You soon forget the sound of the snappy twig. It was probably a friendly badger or a clumsy bear. So little bear is stepping on snap. There is it again. Better go home. Nope. Oh, fine. I went home. I didn't mean to do that. All right. Went home. Last one. Let's go with this one. You're heading home with a dead rabbit you found. Suddenly a fox appears. He sidles up to you and asks, You're going to eat all of that? Examine the fox. You're clearly no ordinary fox. Hand over the whole rabbit. Share the rabbit with the fox. Make him watch you eat it. Eh, share the rabbit with the fox. You tear the rabbit into two pieces. It splits unevenly. One chunk is most of the meat and the other is a bunch of tendons and skin. The fox looks up hungrily. Uh, give him a good chunk. You and the fox enjoy the delicious rabbit. Mmm, crunchy. Um, alright. Adlin says, Fleeting, you have grown beyond youth, and you have become an adult. Yay! <clears throat> You've been dragged from your bed by your friends and neighbors. What, who, why, where now? They tell you it's time to grow up. You've taken to the woods. Okay. The neighbors throw you into the center of a great circle of monsters, all older than you. They whisper to each other, they look at you, then whisper some more. Get on, getting on. The monsters murmur, mutter, spit and snarl. They're deciding what best defines you as a monster. Wait patiently, yell at them to hurry up, take a nap. Wait patiently. After a while, the muttering stops. Though the murmuring goes on for some time longer, finally the assembled monsters come to a decision. Well, what is it? The ring of monsters shuffles close to you, forming a tighter circle. Elders loom over you while smaller adults crouch low. Your surrounding grows shadowy and dark. What do they want from you now? You can see concern in some of their faces, but very little respect. So what, does the monster need respect to grow up? Wait for them to assign you a task. You can become an adult without earning any respect, but when the time comes all too soon to become an elder, you'll dissolve and pass away without it. Alright. Someone calls you clever. An unseen monster in the back agrees. Yeah, you're a real know-it-all. You knew it. Someone gives you a tangled up ball of wires and a little glass bulb. A human artifact of some kind. Untangle it, prove you're smart. Rip it in, rip it in half. Carefully untangle the knotted ball of wires. Awesome! You squint and turn the ball this way and that, and then find the worst part of the tangle and worry it free. It gets easier after that, and soon the whole ball is a series of clean loops. Lay the light wire on the ground and smile. Cool, got 5% respect. You're now an adult. You'll grow stronger over time, but your personality is no longer as mutable as it was when you were young. Onward to adulthood. Alright! So, I'm going to cut this video off here, and until next time, this has been Dan Spires. Like, comment, subscribe, leave any questions if you want to know anything. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, Steam, links are down below, and until next time, bye!